Now I'd like to talk about a few things that bring us together, okay? Things that emphasize our similarities instead of our differences, which is all you ever hear about in this country is our differences. It's all they ever talk about, politicians and the media, always pushing the things that separate us, things that make us different. That's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They divide the rest of the people. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money. Fairly simple thing. Fairly simple thing happens to work. Anything that's different about us, you know that's what they're pushing at you. Racial differences, religious, ethnic, national backgrounds, jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality. Anything they can do to keep us fighting with each other so that they can keep going to the bank. You know how I describe the economic and social classes in this country? The upper class keeps all of the money, pays none of the taxes. The middle class pays all of the taxes, does all of the work. The poor are there just to scare the shit out of the middle class. <laughs> keep them showing up at those jobs. And I'm not a really good American because I like to form my own opinions. I don't just roll over when I'm told to. Sad to say, most Americans just roll over on command. Not me, not me. I have certain rules I live by. My first rule, I don't believe anything the government tells me. Nothing. Zero. And and I don't take very seriously the media or the press in this country, who in the case of the Persian Gulf War were nothing more than unpaid employees of the Department of Defense, and who most of the time function as kind of an unofficial public relations agency for the United States government. So I don't listen to them. I don't really believe in my country. And I gotta tell you folks, I don't get all choked up about yellow ribbons and American flags. I consider, I consider them to be symbols, and I leave symbols to the symbol-minded.